Today in X4 Foundation's Cradle of Humanity, we are going to check out one of the new weapons uh, that came in the DLC for the Terrans, the Proton Barrage. You know, poem by name, I like it. Neutron Gatling came with the split. We got Proton Barrage. Um, yeah, good name. Only available from the Terran stations. It's a considered a high power class of weapon. I don't quite know what that means. I need to do some more research. But those are basically special Terran weapons. Are these uh, high power from my cursory research? So I'm expecting a very fast firing sort of weapon with this. So let's go ahead and get that on our ship. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use a small version since. I'm on. Uh, I'm just gonna use my Gladius here to kind of showcase it. There is a medium version as well. The Mason stream is extremely powerful, but we'll go over that one later. I'm gonna go with Mark II's since I can aff afford it at the. I can afford that right now. I can always sell these back later. All right. So you know, four Mark II proton barrage is small. Will cost two million credits. Now that's arguably too much to spend on a with a fighter. I would maybe. I mean, I don't have the deepest pockets, but uh, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna go with it. And in the game, it's called. These are high energy weapons. So the Mason Stream and Proton Barrage. Let's add it to shopping list. Confirm. You can go. That's neat. You can see a building on the sides. Never notice that. We'll definitely have to get outside and take a quick look at them. I hate that I can't walk through the front of the Gladius. I have to walk around it. I'm lazy. Ah, I'm stuck. Stuck. Right here they are. They are pretty nice looking weapons. Very industrial. I like the three triangle kind of shape design there. They better be cool looking for this cost. Hello there. All right, let's go uh take these for a little test fire and then we'll get in some get in a fight. And see how these Terran Wharf. do. All right. Interesting sound. How's the heat build up? Oh, I, li I, li I really like how they turn. That is cool. Yeah, so the way they each individual weapon turns as they fire is really cool. Okay. Sounds good. Feels powerful. Heat build up. You know, builds up, but not too bad. Let's go find a real fight. Thanks for your help. 
Okay, so that was the demonstration of the Proton Barrage, the small version. You know, it's pretty good against uh, small ships. Um, definitely better than the Pulse Laser. It's stronger uh, just by the stats. I mean, no question there. The rate of fire is pretty good. The range is a little short on the smalls. It's better on the mediums. I'd like a little more range. It sounds cool. It looks cool. So, you know, it's a pretty decent weapon. Now, in the next video, I'm going to be getting a Terran frigate, and I'm going to fit it out with the medium versions of these guns. So, in that video, we'll see how those work. Now, they're even more powerful, and they have better range. Because, you know, when we fought the P on this, in this video, we ran into heat issues by just spamming. I mean, I, I wasn't really trying to conserve heat i was just shooting i was just holding the button down so there are better ways to do it of course but against bigger ships with more shields and hull you're going to run into heat issues if you just hold down the button now the medium size guns i expect won't have as much of that issue because they're greater strength but they probably also build up heat faster we'll have to see it when i put them on the frigate but that about covers it for this. The Proton Barrage is definitely a cool weapon. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.